one of our favorite things is to take our uh, four-wheel drive all-terrain vehicle and uh, go up to the mailbox and then go down to the uh, garbage uh, dumpster and drop off our garbage and uh, ride around the mountain and see what's happening around the 2,500 acres that's up here on the top of the mountain. And uh, One of the things that we enjoy watching is the progress on the new houses. There's two under construction right now. Uh, that still only brings the total number of houses up here to about 55 or 56 houses. And nevertheless, uh, we've been watching this one go up that's sitting on the edge of the uh, mountain and, uh, and make me remember today's passage of scripture. Uh, the new house has um, uh, been up for a little while and they're now finishing off the finishing touches inside, but uh, it's almost a 1500 foot drop uh, from that house down to the plain below. Uh, the deck hangs out uh, over the uh, little flatted area where the house has been built. And uh, there's a big bank uh, leading to the house. So the house, uh, uh, if you look at the pictures that come on TV about the houses in California and other places where there are mudslides and houses fall, into the ocean or into the ravines below. This is a house that uh, certainly could give you that feeling that uh, if uh, enough rain and enough uh, water were to flow through there that uh, the house could uh, come off of its moorings and plummet to the mountain, plummet off the mountain. It's not going to happen because uh, the mountain doesn't have that much mud. It has mostly clay over the top of large rock. And so it has kind of a rock foundation. Nevertheless, uh, whenever a builder builds up here, or, or we, when we were building our addition on our house up here, um, we have uh, the addition is sitting on concrete pillars uh, with um, steel posts and massive beams holding up the deck that overlooks the lake. And uh, it was built deliberately and designed by an excellent architect uh, so that no matter what happens, uh, everything's going to be steadfast, that the uh, house addition is going to be steadfast, and that the deck, even if we were to have 25 people out on the deck at one time, which you've seen those horrible films on the internet and so on of decks that were not built to specification that caved in, and everybody went plummeting to the ground on the decks. That's not going to happen to ours. What did I say all of that for? Well, because Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 and following says this, Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine and acts upon them may be compared to the wise man who built his house on the rocks. <laughs> well, I hope that I was the wise man, and I hope that people that built the new house over on the other side of the mountain uh, were wise men and built it on the rocks. Because you see, Jesus went on and said, then when the rains came and the floods came, those that built on sand uh, had a great loss. But those that built on the rock uh, stood fast. I hope that you're building on the rock of Jesus. I hope you're building your life, your family, your job, and everything about you on the rock of the Word of God. You see, this passage of Scripture is very, very profound. Therefore, everyone who hears these words of mine, but not just hears only, says, and acts on them, may be compared to the wise man who built his house on the rock. You can't do better than building on the rock of Jesus. And that's your thought for the day. God bless you. Have a great day.